Hello, I am going to be working a little bit on making this tag and what I did was basically um, just got an advertisement um, in the mail and I had this napkin that I had worked on uh, so I Mod Podge the napkin onto the advertisement okay so this is basically using junk mail and scraps of things okay this is a Starbucks napkin that I happen to have laying around and I needed to do some alcohol inks sprays and so I kind of used that as a catch all for that and you know see how pretty that is I like that I like the, the way that looks you know and I'm probably gonna use this maybe maybe I, I struggle with throwing things away but I don't want to be you know hoarding so um, anyway so here's this uh, one and I, I didn't cut it perfectly okay you know one of the things I've noticed is that as I craft more and more I, I do get better like somehow I'm cutting a little bit better and everything so that's encouraging but yeah if you're first starting out doing crafts you, you're probably not gonna cut very well and you, you just need to know that it's gonna get better okay so don't be too discouraged about it um, so yeah, yeah, definitely something I learned that, you know, it's one of those things, the more you do it, the better you get at it, and it's just, you know, it's not because you're putting more pressure on yourself, it's just that you're learning, you know, because you want to, you want it to be fun, you know, and, and, and sometimes when it gets too stressful and it's not fun anymore, uh, you, you got to stop, so, okay. So then it's like deciding what size tags I want to have. I tend to make, you know, decent size books, you know, junk journal books. And I tend to always need like a taller rather than a shorter tag. So I'm kind of inclined to want to cut this into like two good size tags. Okay, and actually when I gotta cut something like that, I like to use my um, my little, you know, cutter thingy. I can't talk right now, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, because I still can't cut that well in a straight line to be honest with you. So I'm kind of uh, wanting to do that. So anyway I, I don't want to go get it so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the best I can and not be too upset if I don't cut it just right so anyway here we go okay so there we have it um, that's not too bad and you know you could still see stuff here and here that maybe you know you want to cover up you know and so I'm I don't know how I'm going to cover it up yet, but, uh, but yeah, I want to go ahead and make the shape of the, uh, tag now so that, um, how do you do this? I know they're like, okay, if you do this, then you flip it over and then that, you got to get the measurement like that. Okay. So that's how we're going to do it. Okay, so, um, okay, and I mean, it is a long tag. It's kind of a longish tag. It almost looks like a bookmark, but that's okay. I mean, I, I've used tags this, this size, and you know, honestly, it's kind of fun and nice to have tags of different sizes and different shapes. Um, so anyway, I'm, I don't, uh, I'm going to probably pause this video so I can go ahead and, and get another some some more elements to put on these on these tags but yeah you know see like right here I got some writing 
and um, so I, I probably still want to cover some of that up and you know there's just different things I can do with it I could use mod not my punch but I can use gesso you know if I want to put a little white element in it you know and kind of work with that but I also may be interested in putting some kind of image so you know that might be a good place to put those to make these tags look cute so anyway that's it for right now and I'm gonna do the next video when I get more items because I don't know how to put videos together just yet so okay see you in the next one